Imagine a world where a single edit in DNA can remove a stealthy virus lingering inside human cells, a breakthrough so profound that it could one day transform the way we treat HIV. Researchers have eliminated HIV from infected cells using precision gene editing. This is not yet a cure, but it is a pivotal step in that direction. Let's explore how they did it, what this means, and where the journey goes from here. To grasp the significance of this development, we must first understand why HIV has been so difficult to defeat. The human immunodeficiency virus is notoriously hard to eliminate because it integrates itself into the DNA of infected cells. It can remain hidden in reservoirs, including in cells where it's latent, making it unreachable by many treatments. Over decades, Antiretroviral therapy has transformed HIV from a death sentence into a chronic, manageable disease. Yet antiretroviral drugs only suppress viral replication. They don't remove every trace of the virus from the body. The latent reservoirs remain, posing a constant risk of resurgence. Scientists have long sought a method to remove those hidden viral genomes and move beyond suppression toward elimination. In June 2025, a team of researchers from Amsterdam UMC reported a breakthrough. Using CRISPR-Cas gene editing, they successfully removed HIV genetic material from infected human cells in laboratory conditions. They identified regions of the HIV genome that remain highly conserved across different viral strains, sequences that seldom change. By designing guide RNAs that match those conserved HIV sequences, they directed the Cas enzyme to make precise cuts in infected cells' DNA, removing viral fragments without disturbing the rest of the genome. After editing, they confirmed that no traces of HIV remained in those cells. In other words, they achieved a sterilizing edit in vitro, eliminating HIV from the genome of infected cells grown in the lab. This is the first time such complete removal of HIV from cells using gene editing has been reported, an extraordinary technical feat. Why is this so groundbreaking? For the first time, complete viral removal from cells was achieved. Prior attempts had targeted or disabled the virus, but rarely achieved total clearance. This study pushes boundaries further. It also demonstrated precision and safety by targeting conserved regions, minimizing the risk of unintended damage to human DNA. And since the targeted regions are conserved across strains, the method could potentially work broadly without needing customized edits for each patient's viral subtype. Still, as the scientists themselves emphasize, this remains an early laboratory success not yet a therapy ready for patients. Despite its promise, many hurdles remain before this method can become a clinical reality. The experiment was performed on human cells in the lab, not in animals or humans. Translating gene editing into a living body brings complexity in delivery, control, and safety. HIV can hide in sanctuary tissues and cells that are difficult to access, and any therapy must reach those hidden reservoirs without harming healthy tissue. Another challenge is how to deliver the CRISPR machinery to all infected cells in a patient. Viral vectors or nanoparticles must be safe, efficient, and precise. Even with careful design, unintended cuts to human DNA are always a risk, so extensive testing is required. The body's immune system may react to gene editing agents or to altered cells, complicating treatment. And of course, regulatory and ethical considerations will be essential before any human trials can begin. What comes next? Researchers must test the approach in animal models, assessing both effectiveness and safety in a living organism. They'll refine delivery systems, optimize vectors or nanoparticles to target infected cells in different tissues, and ensure no harmful effects occur. If results remain positive, human clinical trials may follow, likely starting with patients who have limited treatment options. 
Even with gene editing, the final cure may combine multiple strategies, editing, immunotherapy, and conventional drugs to eliminate all residual virus and strengthen the immune system. The scientists behind the study envision a robust and safe combinatorial CRISPR-Cas regimen aimed at a cure for HIV for all. This is not an overnight solution, but it marks a clear shift from controlling the virus to actually removing it. The implications of this advance are profound. Imagine a future where HIV is no longer a lifelong condition, but a curable one. Millions could be freed from the burden of daily medication, its side effects and its costs. The global impact would be enormous, especially in regions hardest hit by HIV. And beyond HIV, this success could open doors for treating other viral diseases that integrate into human DNA, like hepatitis B or latent herpes viruses. However, cautious optimism is essential. Many promising breakthroughs in the lab never reach safe, effective human therapies. The path from laboratory to clinic is long and complex, but this result is a beacon of hope, proof of what science can now achieve. Scientists have, for the first time, excised HIV entirely from infected human cells in the lab using CRISPR-based gene editing. It's a historic milestone that brings us closer to a genuine cure. Significant challenges remain, but the horizon has never looked brighter. If you're fascinated by the intersection of genetics and medicine, stay tuned. The coming years may bring even greater revelations. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. The cure for HIV may not be here yet, but with breakthroughs like this, we're getting closer than ever before.